Hey guys, it's Caitlin from the Texas Forestry Museum. Today we're going to talk about two East Texas animals, and these animals both happen to be nocturnal. And nocturnal means that they're active and out and about during nighttime. And so during the day, they're actually asleep. So the first animal we're going to talk about is our striped skunk. Now, striped skunks, as most people know, have stripes. Uh, they're white stripes that are on their back. So as you can see from my hind, we have two lovely white stripes that go down this dark black coat. And they also continue into the tail area. Now, skunks also, you guys probably know, they smell. And the reason why they smell is because it's something that helps protect them. So a bigger predator, say a coyote or a great horned owl, if they're trying to harm the skunk, the skunk then has the ability to spray that smell and help protect themselves because usually a predator, once they smell that and get it on them, they really don't want to be around the animal. So they won't pursue it. Um, so skunks have that protection for them. However, did you know, because most of us know they do smell, did you know they could spray up to 15 feet? So you need to stay kind of far away from them. Also, they'll give you a hint if they're about to spray. They'll warn you by hissing, stomping their paws, and also waving their uh, little tail, like kind of like a little flag. So if you ever see a skunk that's hissing, stomping, and waving its tail, you probably need to leave because you don't want to get sprayed. Another fun fact about them is that when they're babies, only after three weeks old, they're able to spray. So they can spray when they're very young. Also, they have five toes, just like us. Have five fingers, five toes on each feet. So um, that's pretty cool too. All right, so our next animal we're gonna talk about is the Virginia possum. I say possum, but you can say opossum, since it does start with an O. I've heard people say it both ways. So possums, like the skunk, is a nocturnal animal. Some of the things for characteristics is that it has a nice typically gray white fur. This one is a little bit darker, but as you can see there are hints of that nice white fur underneath. Also something kind of different about the possum is that its ears and tail are hairless. So um, they actually don't have any hair that grows on their tail or ears. Also, possums are kind of unique because they're the only marsupial that's native to North America. And marsupial means it's an animal that has a pouch for their babies. So if you think of like a kangaroo with their little joey in their pouch, that's exactly what possums have for their babies. They have a little pouch on the females that when the babies are born, the babies will crawl in and stay in there until they're old enough to climb out and then they ride on their mom's back for a couple of weeks before they're ready to actually leave her. So it's like a big piggyback ride for all of your brothers and sisters until you guys are ready to leave. So um, possums are pretty awesome too because they have also a defense me mechanism or protection like the skunk but a little bit different. So instead of spraying like the skunk, the possum pretends it's dead. So if there's a predator coming up to them, a bigger animal, and they're trying to um, get away, the possum will actually fall in a death-like state for up to three hours. So they'll pretend they're dead, or you know, if your parents ever say, stop playing possum, they're actually talking about that you're pretending that you're asleep or dead. Um, so possums can do that. They also have 50 teeth. So that's a lot more teeth than we have. And they're really good swimmers and climbers. So I hope you enjoy this. And I hope you don't ever come across any of these animals. Just do the fact. Remember, if the skunk is stomping, that means you probably need to go the other direction. So I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.